Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to get into two different applications, Heptabase and Scrento, and I want to focus on their export capabilities. So if you're that type of person that don't want to put all of your information into one of these type of tools or solutions and not have a way to get your data out of it where they would have total control over your information and you, you, you're you basically stuck with that app if you want to use it and leverage it long term and term and access your your data. These both of these apps do allow for export of your content and they both do it in Markdown, but they do it very different. And I think you need to watch this video to see how Heptabase does it and how Scrintu does it and and see which one kind of comes out on top and which one shines the most. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'm going to start off with Scrintu here. And in Scrintu, you have boards and you have cards similar to what you have over in Heptabase. And it is a visual note taking app if you don't know what Scrintle is. Uh, these two applications, Heptabase and Scrintle, are pretty much the same, but they do things in a few different ways as far as the board itself. Now, but then if I go into boards here, uh, there is no way to export from the boards section, but it, going into cards does present an export all capability here. So you have a button here for to export all of your cards. This is where most of your data is going anyway. Um, you do have uh, information within Scrental where you can put data on your, or text, you can say on your board, but from the, the actual export capability here, they put the export in the cards section. So let's go ahead and let's do the export here. We can see this action will prepare all your cards and boards in markdown format and download them as a zip file. And it also states that your boards will be converted to markdown files that contain all the references from them as links. And this is important to note here that all the references to your files are presented as links and we'll see what that really means when we do the export. So we'll go ahead and export that there and let's go to the to our download area. We'll export it. Then we'll go into the file direction directory here. Now I have one that I've unzipped here and basically when you go into this this uh, you unzip it and then you go into the folder this is what you see. Now, I don't know about you, but this here is is kind of a hot mess, right? So you, you don't even know what what's in these files. They don't name them appropriately. There's no no naming to what the cards were named in your in your actual workspace. And it's I, I have no idea why this export is even even still like this you'd think that this might have been a first pass but after doing it that they would have improved on this right away before even releasing this to to customers because if i was to see this as an export um i would think they're joking that they're playing with me and this could be i, I don't know either a ploy to make it to where you don't want to export and it keeps you again in their platform. But again, not every time you do an export it, it, is it because that you want to move away from the platform. It's probably just that you want to do a backup and have another copy of your data just in case the the provider or the people hosting this this information goes away. And you and they basically either close the doors on their actual um, on their business or they're just the internet's down they get locked out whatever for whatever reason it's your data it should be um, in your control when you need it to be but this particular export again it's i have no idea what this is or why why they put this in the product as a finished um, solution that a, a consumer would actually use because They've scrambled these. These aren't. Yeah, there's not much really to say here. Now let's go to uh, help the base 
and see what they provide from an export capability and how it differs from Scrintel. Okay, so we're in Heptabase. Again, it's a visual note-taking app for, again, putting together your all your knowledge in a visual way. And it has similar functionality, again, to Scrintel, but I would say it's way more capable and way more functional um, and more, more feature-rich. So they do have the maps where all of your boards will go. And you do have the card library, similar to what you would get over in Scrintel, but when the the way they provide their export is through the um, settings area and if we go into let me see where is it backup and sync then in here is where you get to export your information and right off the bat here when you come into here you see that they also have and include a backup capability and this is a, a you know a real functional backup where it automatically does this backup to a directory that you choose on your local machine and it does it on a, on a certain frequency right so right here when you it automatically creates a zip file every time closing the app so you close your app it creates a backup in this particular folder that you select and this backup though is app required so you can only restore the your information from this backup by using this application now they also provide the export capability that we want to see in these applications so that you can pull your information out and export it in a format that would be readable to a human right so i can easily open up a file and read it and they do this by using markdown files so if I come in here and I do an export and you can see here it exports all your cards and whiteboards similar to what Scrintle said that they do but the the output the the actual files that you get you can't distinguish whether it's a board or it's a card or or whatnot and also let's go back into that directory you don't get any of the other file types outside of the text-based cards that you had in Scrintel. So none of your images, uh, none of your PDFs, any other files that you put into Scrintel do not come down with this export feature. But let's go back to have the base and we'll do an export here and we get to choose the folder that it goes to. But here you clearly see that you have an option to include files and images. This is one option you do not get with Scrintel. And this is where this is already looking better um, on the surface, uh, you know, when you compare it to what, what we did with Scrintel on this side. Now we'll go ahead and do an export here. It will take a little bit and now it's done. And if I want to view this, this folder, I can come in here and see all the information that's in there. We'll go ahead and Let's zoom in a bit here so we can see this. And we can see already that there was way more attention to detail that was thought thought about when they created this particular process for exporting your information. We already see that they've, they've created separate folders for the whiteboards, for the cards. They even went as far as to, to put separate folders for um, mind maps which sits on your boards and those are even separated into their own folder now this is above and beyond what I would actually even expect from an export from any of these systems just the, the attention to detail on what they did here by separating all these things out and they also if you come in here you'll you'll notice that you have PNG files here, I have JPEG files, and if we go into highlights here, let's see, we have PNG files. Um, yeah, all, all of your data that you that you put within Heptabase here is being pulled down into this particular folder structure so that when you come in, come in here and you leverage these markdown files, which 
by way <laughs> are also named with what they're named in the actual system and in, in the application they're, they're not any scrambled up numbers and letters uh, which is a, just a jumble of mess that you can't understand you, you literally know what you're looking for you can go straight to it you can open up these do documents and it's marked down in these files yeah th this is way better than what you would get from scrintle in in comparison here and I think it even goes above and beyond what you would probably see from a lot of other applications that allow you to export their data. So kudos to you, Heptabase. This is fabulous job on, on, on the export feature that you have on your tool. And Scrintle, you know, I, I would say shame on you for even putting this out for people to use it because this this here looks like a really rushed job and a poor implementation of you know an export feature where users want to get their information and they should get their information that they put into your tool and they should be able to actually be able to consume it easily and this here just seems like some haphazard way of forcing the the user to go through maybe an additional complication so that they would not ever get out of your tool so yeah that's just you know my thought on it there's probably no malicious intent here from scrinto but just to see what they did here is you know if there was no malicious intent you know you start to think what were they thinking when they when they let that go and and they gave it to users right or they were not thinking at all so don't mean to be too harsh on on the developers there, but I, I really do think that that's a poor implementation of an export. And it saddens me to see that that's what they released for users of their application that are paying money for the solution. All right, so I'll step off my soapbox there. I think I uh, beat the dead horse on the export capabilities with lack of from Scrinto and highlighted you know the, the the awesome job that heptabase has done with their export capabilities from their product if you like the content from this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day